Hey, people, Full Screen gave me my own show called Apologies in Advance with me, Andrea Russett, and my bartender, Rachel Scanlon. If you want to see me get weird and not just hear me get weird, then you need Full Screen. And now, if you're an eligible AT&T wireless customer, then you can stream me and my friends again and again and again because they are going to give it to you for a full year at no extra cost. Just go to fullscreen.com slash AT&T for more details. Now let's get drinking. Advance if you want to tweet with me. You can ask your questions. We also have a sex chat hotline at 540 Sex Chat. And uh, if you want to watch it happening live, make sure you download the full screen app and you can check us all out. It's going to be a blast. We're going to be spilling tea. I'm going to be hitting on Rachel. I'm going to be falling in love with Rachel. I'm going to talk about all my feelings about Rachel. She's and it's going to be a blast. I don't know who the guest is. We're just going to see what happens. I don't know. Are you ready? Should we like have a drink? Let's like have a drink. I'll make, you know what? Get the tits. <laughs> She's ready. <laughs> it's five o'clock, five o'clock, five o'clock. It's five o'clock somewhere, baby. It's five o'clock somewhere. You're right. I do do this a lot. I know. I now I'm hyper aware. Of it. I watch our show all the time, and you're just always like, I'm just excited to be here. It's good. You're open, and then like it opens up. It's good. See it's good. Sure. Yeah. Which I'm wearing again. So good. It's a blessing to me. So what's been up with you this week? Um, I got my eyebrows tattooed. You did it. I did it. The microblade. microblade. They look way too dark right now, like, because they're healing. So they're oh, no. darker and thicker than they will be. I think that they look incredible. <laughs> did it hurt? <laughs> They've numbed me. I know it's your in right now, dude. It's scary. I don't like it. <laughs> I feel like this is just going to collapse. It gets me so, so, so. We've had a lot of, like, near-death experiences here. Yeah, absolutely. Like, we had the alcohol bomb. Oh, yeah. We had, that's really about it. Yeah, well, I spilled a bunch of, and almost broke all oh of our electronics God. last week. You spilled so much. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're getting better, and your eyebrows are incredible, and now you're gonna last forever, right, or what? Yeah, three years. Yeah? Three years of not If I last you? that long, honestly, <laughs> you never know. Oh Something could God. happen. Well, I lost the cap. Nope, found it. What's going on in your life, Rachel? Things are great. I mean, we, I had Valentine's Day, which was fantastic. They put my name on this. this that's is the a best big thing. deal. <laughs> this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. That's my name on this bottle of. And you're Irish. I'm very Irish. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, it's pretty pretty much popping off for me. <laughs> Things are really happening. For really, my uh, this woman that I'm having sex with. Mm -hmm. um, she. I was brought, very respectful. Thank you. That's because I care. She surprised me and brought like flowers and candies here to work. Okay, well, I thought we had an agreement that you got I was gonna be your Valentine's Day. Luca, with I got, other people. I was not even joking, I brought a water bottle of vodka and I was putting it in the kitty cup. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. Luca? Yeah. That's very cute. Ooh, drinks are expensive. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. But it was fun. I texted you on Valentine's Day. You did. I, t I responded within 30 seconds. It was. I was surprised because I know that you have a lot going on, but I felt very so important to you. On. You said, happy Valentine's Day. You're my favorite redhead. I did say that. <laughs> One step closer, you guys. One step closer. Two steps. Two steps. OK, how's your drink? It's a very oh, complicated one. It's whiskey and ginger ale. That's nice. Do you want an umbrella? I'm over the umbrellas. Fuck them. I'm over the umbrellas. They're dead to us. No more umbrellas. Fuck the umbrellas. Woo -hoo! Um, sex Woo -hoo! sex date that I'm sure you fucking have. You know what is crazy? I have a sex date tonight. I was hoping you'd be like, I actually don't. I know I do. And I'll be like, me too. Wait, I might too. What? This is, what? This is big. <laughs> this is big. You I and just... I, we're going to fuck at the same time, just in different places. I I'm very excited. Yeah, I know I see that. You, yeah. Uh, tonight, you're going to meet up? Not tonight, Saturday. 
Saturday, you're gonna hang out and then hang up, hang in, <laughs> hang in. I'm very excited for us. Just give me the update next week. Next week. Next week, we'll find out how how, how it went. Was. And I'll use this song. Song. What is it? Dive in, Trey songs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I love Trey songs. <laughs> That's great. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. That is gonna be fun. Yeah, it's good. Are you uh, are you primed and ready for your guest? Oh yeah. 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 I've been ready. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Bring him in. Okay, Andrea. Rachel. This next person is a person. A person. I'm also, on. a human uh -huh. has skin on most of their body. Okay. <laughs> Make him a warm welcome. For your guest, Miss Debbie Ryan! Yes! Yes! yes. 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 I got that outfit! Yeah. Hi. Is this sweet? No. No, but it's velvet. It's I always mix them up. Holy moly. It's like a good hug. It's a good hugging outfit. Oh, yeah, bring it. Come here. It's a good hugging outfit. Thank you. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, your whole outfit. Wow. So good. And I thought my outfit was cool today. Your outfit is cool. I started Thanks. painting in those. Yeah. I creep on you on the internet. Dude, you <laughs> followed me and I was like, I think I'm making it. I'm like one step higher to my peak in life or my downfall. Either one, whatever. It's all the same, really. It is. Yeah. There's really no difference. There's not a very large difference. Do you like Shirley Temples? I do like Shirley. Because we've got a bar yes! to make one. Oh, there she goes. I'm making you one as we speak. It's her That's specialty. Amazing. That's her specialty because it's only two ingredients and I'm not good at what I do. We had a little, we had a little mishap last week. Rachel spilled on all the electronics. Every yeah. single one of these. Yeah. I don't think with liquids there's like one thing that you shouldn't spill them on. <laughs> Debbie, you're like, telling me. Yeah. <laughs> um, the thing is, is that they were like, do you want a job as being a bartender? And I'm like, yep. And then they never asked if I could bartend or not. So right. <laughs> she just took it and ran. No, I, uh, I continue. I've like said it actually for a while, which is that like, if and when this inevitably falls apart. I'm gonna move <laughs> and just like, teach snowboarding by day and bartend at night, but yeah. I also don't. You have this so thought out. No, I have, <laughs> except for the fact that like, I don't know how to snowboard. <laughs> <laughs> and I can make like There's three time. drinks. <laughs> hey. There you go. Oh, look at thank that. You, thank you. Thank you. That's oh, nice, that's yeah. nice. I'm so glad that you're here yes. because like, Aww. this is just very excited for me. We haven't had, they don't let w a lot of women around me and I'm just feeling like you're very happy. You're the first girl yeah. on the show. Guys. Aww. It's a big yeah. deal. Girls night. To, to girls night. To girls night. Oh. Oh. I'm just, I'm my, you can't see my legs back here, but they're like. She's trembling. Oh. shaking. Yeah. Um, you're very good at what you do. Oh my God, thank you so much. Which is, if what you do is specifically the Shirley Temple. No, thank you. Yeah. You're literally the only person that said I'm good at what I do. So I appreciate you so much. It's been a rough, rough couple of weeks. <laughs> um, cool, so thank you so much for coming. This Yay. is gonna be fun. Um, so what's going on in your life? Tell us. I'm doing some acting, mm -hmm. which is great. I kind of got a second, I did a show, I did the show Jesse for a while. Mm -hmm. and. Um, was shadowing directors and That's started fun. directing it, got into the DGA with that, produced it, and it was amazing and mm -hmm. taught me so much and was also just so fun because she was written in my voice. And, yeah. um, and then after that, you kind of just need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> need I a good little a minute. Shirley Temple. Yeah, yeah you just know. like sit, have a girls night, have a Shirley. <laughs> and um, no, I feel, I feel like really fortunate because last year I did four films and mm -hmm. some really cool guest spots and really cool things and kind of just worked with amazing filmmakers and really yeah. cool female cinematographers and awesome. um, just also like writer directors that have great scripts. So I did this movie Riptide in Australia, which is amazing. I do some surfing in that. Ooh, yeah. you surf? I surfed in that, yeah. Uh, like standing up full time, full big time? Yeah, rode a couple all the way in. Really did it, yeah. That's my dream. Yeah. <laughs> to watch you surfing. <laughs> That's my dream. That's my dream. Yeah. Was Listen, it like real hard? Um, it was, I'm very glad that it wasn't live. <laughs> I'm glad that there's a beautiful post-production team that's making me look more skilled than I am. Hell but yeah. yeah, no, I um, I'm fortunate because I didn't like play a surfer. I play a girl from New York who comes and visits my like family in Australia and mm -hmm. um, end up just falling in love with the water. And that kind of just shows it is more symbolic as far as yeah. getting back in touch with your roots. And um, so I feel as though also being in the water and like being in the salt and just kind of that vibe of being in a show for a while, 
I, it's like therapeutic. So I that was really nice. Australia is amazing. So beautiful. Yeah, I want to like wander. Yeah, I love it. Just hearing you guys talk about Australia is giving me sunburn. Like just <laughs> hearing about it, I'm like, no. Oh. <laughs> This sounds great. Field trip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would wear, I would be wearing a full burqa, just like, here's good. Yeah, burkini. Yeah, burkini. Yeah, <laughs> she got that burkini in the water. Yeah, that girl was hot in that burkini. <laughs> yo, yo, you see that girl over there, that 12-piece swimming suit? <laughs> yo, she was hot. <laughs> That's me. And just Kill here it. is burnt. <laughs> <laughs> I get home, I'm like, what happened? Like, oh. That's why I don't leave Andrew's basement. That's why I, I don't. I actually, like, we, I could give you, like, a full guided tour of the, like, mosquito bites and, like, Ooh, horse fly bites. Yeah, and just, like, surfing wipeouts. Oh, and, like, nice. I had, like, rash burn, you know, the whole night. You're out there, you're really doing it. Hell yeah, yeah, I went surfing once, and I, like, kind of crashed. I just slipped a little bit, and I was like, I'm never doing this again. Did you cry? <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> you, can't tell, you can't tell if you're crying in the water. <laughs> this is all just wet. Yes, the there was salt in my eyes. That's okay. why you only cry in the shower. Am I right, lady? Yeah, totally. I right. wish I was. <laughs> God, oh. you guys are cute. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel, you guys are very, very, very good looking. Yes! Thank you, thank you. Rachel throws out the compliments. I love that. Well, I just, I, I love you. So <laughs> I just, I can't help how I feel, and they come out of my mouth. Quickly, yeah, and then just here we are. Yeah, it's nice. It's like really encouraging. It's kind of like unsettling. Like it's a little disarming. Here's the thing. Here's my theory. I think women are either over complimented by gross men or under complimented because they're too like you know untouchable. So I just overcompensate on all ends of the spectrum. I love that. I like that. <laughs> That's Thank the you. way to do it. I just feel I was like just thinking like to just the idea of love on the people you love, yeah. just like love on them and like life and being, like. I, I think that like the world is so weird right now yes. and dark. So weird. Like, yeah. if we could just say the thing. Also, my friend and I were talking about this because she and I will walk down the street and like like our outfits, and we'll like walk down the street and we'll be like, that girl's so pretty. Look at her shoes. Like, yeah. Do you think our hair is weird? It's so pretty, and it looks like we're just two girls being like, look at that girl. Yeah. And if they actually heard us, we're like, oh my god, she's so cute. She looks <laughs> like it's, if you follow me on Snapchat, sometimes I'll literally be like, this is the prettiest girl in the world. And I'm like zooming in on a photo shop, like on random people. I'm like, no photos, please. And like creeping stranger. So I feel as though like if you could do it IRL, it's probably better. Right? <laughs> See, I like that. You get IRL. it. You get what I'm talking about. Yeah. Just like spreading that love whether Spread they're up. Up. Yeah. They're comfortable with it or not. That's what I've been yeah. <laughs> Whether you want it or not. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a good moment for me to ask you to stop complimenting me. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, that makes be done now. That makes a lot of we sense. Yeah. Get them hot and strong and then back up. <laughs> Coming back up. Yeah. I'm gonna go in the basement of the basement. <laughs> 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 I really went for that. You went all the way. It hurt my uh whatever is back here, that muscle. It was good space work. I was like, is there, is there an elevator committed. down there? Is there an escalator? Is there a stuck escalator and she's there kind of taking the, the stairs? Oh, God bless you guys. Just come <laughs> to space work. Um, but yeah, so movies, acting. <laughs> right. that got also, so long time. Sorry. So <laughs> your style, how do you you're it's like super Thank you. Woo! Um yeah, I, I work with a stylist who he was like a teenager and I was an even younger teenager mm -hmm. and we like found each other and believed in each other and he's wonderful and kind of did fashion weeks together and that yeah. sort of thing. And so now we're in a good place where for the last like two years, I haven't really done events. I haven't had mm -hmm. a publicist. I've just kind of like Chilling. done acting and then hung out with my cats. And then I have like a couple startups. <laughs> I very there. much respect that. Yeah, <laughs> just really passionate, glamorous things. Um, but yeah, so he understands me and kind of knows me to the point where I'm like, oh, I have a date, or oh, I have an audition, or I'm meeting yeah. someone, just whatever. And so he'll like give me pieces. Yeah. And then every once in a while, I'll just Snapchat him and be like, does this work with this? You've got to help me. Gave me too much creative license. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, I feel like it works out some of the times. And you know, it's like go-go. Hell yeah. Hey. A little bit of this? Yeah, oh, you mean a black boot? Oh, oh this oh, whole you thing? Mean, oh, you mean that? That actually very much hurts my leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a good stretch. <laughs> like Maybe we that. have to, <laughs> to like, give it a I needed, yoga before I needed a we show people our should have stretched. I didn't realize we'd be moving so much. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so much space work. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. You guys are incredible. <laughs> Disney? Disney. Help or hurt? Hmm? Or, bur or both? I or just overall both. experience? Yeah, I think it's that kind of thing that if you, like, introduce yourself to someone in a specific way and then it comes out nine months later and then reruns five times a day for four years. It's hard for people not to see you as the, being the 18 year old that you were when you were shooting that. Yeah. So, um, which is actually, I'm very, very thankful that 
the ways that I've been able to present myself are like, like if you see like Jesse or things that aren't made for like necessarily people my age, but mm -hmm. I like read the scripts and laugh out loud. Yeah. Um, I feel as though like it kind of, I've had I've gotten to grow with people. I watched Woo! Sweet Life and then I was on Sweet Life. That's cool. And then I kind of like got to yeah, like do it for the people I was that were doing it for me, you know. Yeah. I don't know, it kind of like it comes very cyclical, but then you get to a point where you're like, oh, I actually am a different person now than what's being currently presented. And yeah. you can like let that settle and let people kind of understand that and then you can have that and I can like watch 16 Wishes and be like, that's me. Yeah. That was the thing. And also something like dark and you know, this movie cover versions that I did that's so new stuff. It's like amazing and I got to work with cool people and we shot it here, but like it's a little dark. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like, you know, like, and it's it's like there's like fun, kind of cool, creative moments. It's not like mm -hmm. gratuitous or edgy for the sake of being edgy, but yeah. it's just very kind of human and perfect content, which I think yeah. people aren't used to seeing me presented in that way. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of like everything is tied up with a bow after 23 minutes. Yeah. And <laughs> life isn't like that, and being in your 20s or in your teens isn't like that. And so, yeah. I don't know. Cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Gone a, all the way Are these stick and pokes? Oh. You know how to do stick and pokes? Yeah, I've only ever done stick and pokes. Really? To yourself? Yeah, I've given people stick and pokes. This one I didn't do. That's the only one I haven't done. But it was a cover up of the first one I did. And when I was on, there's like this C.S. Lewis quote that says, mm -hmm. if I find in myself a desire which nothing in this world can satisfy, the only explanation must be that I was made for another world. Ooh. So I was okay. like, it was like five years ago, I was like 18 mm -hmm. or something. And I like gave it to myself with like mm -hmm. a sharpie and a like before it's I got that India easy? ink. Uh, it's that danger. Don't try to. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, who's got a sharpie? Yeah. We're doing tats. A lighter. <laughs> I'll just like it'll be my little souvenir. Everywhere I go, I'll just like leave tattoos on people. <laughs> Your little initials on everyone. Yeah, yeah. Just like random symbols. Um, yeah, That's I've cool, though. had like several. It's like friendship tats and yeah. my bandmate and I gave each other that and it's like it, they all kind of mean different things. And, and you're so, in a band. You do a lot. I did some band stuff. Oh, got it. I write music and wrote for a bit and wanted to just kind of place it. And I was sitting with other people and doing stuff. And then I was like, oh, this is actually really personal. It would feel weird if someone saying this. And mm -hmm. then kind of just got like protective and yeah. started doing it, but also was terrified of, there's a Da Vinci quote. I'm just on quotes today. Dude, I'm into it. I like there's, the quotes. <laughs> there's this Da Vinci quote that says, art is never finished, only abandoned. Mm -hmm. And so getting to the point where you're like, okay, I can safely abandon this. Yeah. Like it feels enough like me and what I meant to like release it into the world and feel like it. Yeah. You know, but there's also that point where like, especially with clinical OCD to where you're like, it's not done. It's never going to be done. This isn't what I want to put out. It's, yeah. it's changing every three seconds. I must burn it. Yeah. <laughs> burn it all. There's actually another quote. Here we go. Oh, yeah. go. <laughs> there should just be bullet points of like yeah. random crap that I'm saying. Also, how do you guys know that I'm not making these up? You very yeah. well could be. It's very believable. It's yeah. very convincing. Yeah. She's like, at another one. C.S. Lewis once said, make money. Get, no. Um, oh my God. I like that guy. Um, no, he said, uh, it's actually like in the preface of this book, Weight of Glory, which is like a compilation of tropical sermons on humility. Mm -hmm. And so there are some that overlap. And he's like, you're going to read the same thing twice. There's some mm -hmm. where the editing kind of is, is clumsy. But he says, there comes a time, and it need not be a long time, where an artist, even if they were to make an amendment to like a work of art, I'm paraphrasing, but like even if they were to make an amendment to the work of art, even by the artist, it's still, after a bit of time, can feel like a forgery. Mm -hmm. and becomes a bit of a forgery. So I think learning how to like make something, put it out, let it go, and yeah. be like, okay, I'm just continuing to create. And yeah. that's like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Set it free. I, I'm real good at abandoning things. <laughs> it's like one of my very best talents. If you love it, if you love an art, abandon it. <laughs> I'm, I'm that's, the best, that's the last quote you had. If you, if you love an art, abandon it. Yes. <laughs> Debbie Ryan. I got it. I'm emotionally unavailable. <laughs> <laughs> really oh my god, that's great. You guys. I don't know. Do you want to play a game? Let's play a game. Play a game. Yeah. Okay. I, I would love to watch this. This is gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna do. The whisper challenge. Oh, okay. The whisper challenge. So basically, uh, you're gonna throw on some headphones. They're gonna put on music for you, so you can't hear her. Miss Andrea Russell here is going to be saying lyrics to like popular Disney songs. Great. You have to guess which one. Great. And if you get wrong, we're gonna do stuff. Great. <laughs> we're gonna do stuff. I love to do stuff. All of the stuff. All of the stuff. Ooh. Okay. We have the headphones, Rachel. 
Here we go. Oh, these are. I love. I have these like Here trousers that I love. Thank you. And it's like that. It's like, but this is so good. I it's like the geometry good. and the knee. Are you guys? Can you hear? Um, I can hear the music. Can you hear me now? Ah! Bingo. <laughs> she nodded. She had to have heard it, but she could. <laughs> I feel like you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay. A whole new world. A dazzling place. I never knew. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're doing a whole new world. Yeah. Yes. You had, nice. you had like magic in your jasmine eyes. Thank you. <laughs> I felt the magic. <laughs> all right, ready? It's the circle of life, and it moves us all through despair and hope, through faith and love. Circle of life. She's naked. <laughs> And it moves us all. I didn't know what the next lyric was. So after I didn't that, even know I was these just like, lyrics. I feel like it's Circle of Life. And then you kept talking, and I was like, never, never seen those. I thought she was going to say I had the Circle of Life eyes. I think in the light touch us up. <laughs> the seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there. That is a big mistake. That song from The Little Mermaid? Yeah. The crab Under the sea. There you under go. the sea. She's nailing it. I wish that you could experience what I'm experiencing, which is just this like serene classical music and then just like body rolling. <laughs> like violins, and she's like, oh. it's just me at a silent disco. <laughs> I love a good silent disco. Okay. There you see her sitting across the way. She don't got a lot to say. But there's something about her. <laughs> but there's something about her. Um, <laughs> but there's. And you don't know why, and you're dying to try. Kiss the girl. You wanna kiss the girl. Do you guys know Ashley Tisdale's version of that from like that Disney? Do movie? I? That's my favorite rendition Dude, ever. It's so good. And uh, B5's Big Bad Wolf. How many of you know that one? Who's afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? <laughs> yeah. That sounds like that sounds like really um. Like, if no one knew that that was a pre-existing song, I would still buy it as being a pop radio hit. Um, I love I'm it. I'm going to turn up your music a little bit, because you seem like you're too good. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Am I being really loud? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's like so sensory weird. deprivation. <laughs> so I feel like 11. <laughs> yeah. yeah. OK, ready? The snow glows white on the mountain tonight. She said mountain. <laughs> Kingdom of isolation. And it looks like I'm the queen. Looks like I'm. The wind is howling like this swirling storm inside. Wind, storm. <laughs> heaven, heaven knows I've tried. And you don't even have to try. I don't know that song. We got one wrong. We got, we got one wrong. Let's let it go. What song is that? <laughs> Let it go. Frozen? Let oh. it go. Oh, right, right. <laughs> Let it go! <laughs> Whoa, volume. <laughs> I was told this was a friendly show. Yeah, whoa. All right, I, last can one. I, can I admit something to you? Did you hear them all? No, 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 I've never seen Frozen. <gasps> whoa. We'll just go back to the... <laughs> and that's it. Strange of things. I'm just upset, that's all. Glad I don't have to hear how you guys are reacting. <laughs> uh, okay, this is the last one. What? Are you doing? Are you starting? <laughs> Someday my prince will come. Someday I'll find my love. And how thrilling that moment will be when the prince of my dreams. Prince of my dreams. Comes to me. Comes to me. Someday my prince will come. <laughs> Nailed it. On VHS. Incredible, <laughs> incredible. Never heard of on that. On VHS last and Blu-ray. Wow, wow. wow, you nailed it, except for one. One. Yeah. True. So one wrong. I'll take all this stuff from you guys. You guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I really liked The Little Mermaid. I wasn't allowed to. That I was didn't my fave. watch and Pocahontas. Uh, Disney movies or whatever until like way later in life. I lived in Germany and like we didn't have. <gasps> and my parents were, didn't want me to like. You lived in Germany. Yeah. Oh. That's very young. Well, it is, but you don't have a lot of American programs. <laughs> and so. It was like, and there wasn't like digital streaming, you know? I, I can't like, imagine oh. a world like that. <laughs> I'm so used to like everything being like, well, it's on the internet, it's fine, we'll stream um, it. Yeah, no, I like literally you got one would wrong. go to. Would you like to crown her? Oh my God, yeah, since you got one wrong, you get one crown mm. because you're a princess. <laughs> it suits you.
16. I was thinking you were going to get a lot more wrong and you were going to have just like a bunch of stuff, but this is good. This is a good look. <laughs> Does it sing? Oh! My twinkly. <laughs> My twinkly. It's like she felt it. Yeah. So cute. My twinkly. I was like, oh. That's because nice. you squeal. I know. It's a squeal of like a, a woman looking at something sparkly. Look <laughs> <laughs> at that. Oh, okay. It's sparkly. Oh, I like it. It's yeah. nice. It's okay. very good. I'm going to take, I'm a, I'm gonna take a picture. Da 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> One of her. It doesn't matter. It was adorable. <laughs> All right. Good job on the game. You guys want to do some messages? Uh, you nailed that. Messages? Yeah. Hey, baby. Are you available for sex chat? How we begin? An answer, the question? My name is Riley and my friend's name is Tori. We were wondering what age you think teens should start dating. Like what age do you think is right for them to start dating? Great question. Oh. I was in third grade having boyfriends. <laughs> okay, but it was like, How old are you in third he looked grade? at me. I know that's like a really- 10? How old was I in third grade? Were you 10 in third grade? I think you're like 10. Because first grade. grade, you're seven. I was like 13. <laughs> okay. I was like, I, I got held back a couple years. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so when you're, when you're like 10, when you're in third grade and you have a boyfriend, oh. it's like, hey, my mom's gonna like pick you up and then- Oh no, I never actually like- Saw them outside of school. Spoke to them oh, sure. or touched them in any way. I was just like, that's my boyfriend. <laughs> and it was a mutual understanding. Yeah. No cheating. You're right. No, no telling someone that someone else was your boyfriend. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, Loyalty. Horrid. Um, I, my brother was 13 when he was like allowed to go on his first date or whatever, mm -hmm. or like he also just wasn't, he like, you know, we were both like, I don't, I don't care. And then <laughs> all of a sudden I cared and I cared a lot. Mm -hmm. And I went on like one date, had a boyfriend for like a month and was like, we saw each other like at my house with my parents and his, mm -hmm. like it was, you know, I think we like kissed on the mouth twice. <laughs> on the mouth. Twice? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, more than once. <laughs> Big deal. I know. And then, and then I was like, oh, never mind. For just, like five just years. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How old were you? 13? I guess I was 13. Damn. Oh, I wanted to take me to the Olive Garden. And I was like, but mom. <laughs> I respect that. My brother got to the Olive Garden. He got to go with a girl. That's Olive Garden how you was know a big you deal. arrived at dating. If you're at an Olive Garden oh, with yeah. somebody, yeah. Oh, I've never been taken to an Olive Garden. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. Tamed. And now I'm just upset. Every woman should be taken to an Olive Garden. I've <laughs> taken myself. One time I could be 20 minutes away from my home to find an Olive Garden. That's the highest. And I'm not gonna lie, seen. it was last month. So <laughs> <laughs> one time. Being honest. One time we're doing that after this. <laughs> yep. One time we're Ubering tonight. It's so good. <laughs> good to we are not helping this girl at all. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, I would but, say, hey, I will say that however young you are, they probably still suck. <laughs> <laughs> or retweet. The positive right? outlooks. I love that. Yeah. No, it's just if you, I think it's like personal. Like mm -hmm. if you feel like you just want a boyfriend to have a boyfriend, or you like want yeah. someone to like post in death photos of, then like it really isn't worth all the time, and you might as well have like adorable friends and family that you live on. Or a dog. Or a dog. Way more adorable. True. And they can't talk. New <laughs> advice. Get a dog until you're like 35. Yeah. Then figure it out. Or two cats. Yeah. Great. Solved. We definitely helped her so much. Mm -hmm. okay. Is there one more? Um, I'm Haley, and I want to know how to tell my best friend that I don't want to be friends with her anymore. <gasps> Girl, what's she oh, doing? Haley. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell me what happened? We don't know why. Haley, I think, I think you just told her. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Damn. Haley, how do you do she's cold as ice. She doesn't give a shit. Wow. I want to know. I want to know a couple things. I have follow up questions. <laughs> yeah. Can we get Haley on the phone? Yeah. 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 Um, I I think that if you have legitimate reason for not wanting to do life with her anymore, mm -hmm. then a she should know, and b you owe her a conversation, right? So like you yeah, know yeah. that. But then like, if you're just kind of like needing friction and drama and you feel like you're actually going to be friends again, don't say anything you'll regret. Yes. But if she's like actively hurt you, just communicate that and then just be like, hey, this season of life was so good this and season. I'm going to just, I'm going to see you in the cafeteria. Later. See you at the reunion. It's not going to be weird, but like we're yeah. not friends. Yeah, it's always important to end it on good terms and never, never do it in a spiteful way and yeah. like just say mean things just to be mean. Yeah. yeah. It's always good to do it in like a respectful, like, I think you're dope, but this isn't Morgan. Yeah. And I think like giving someone a chance to like 
share how that makes them, you know, being like, this is how I'm feeling and this is like what it is. And then yeah. hearing them out instead yes. of, yeah, being like, this is the verdict. Blocked. <laughs> Blocked. So smart. I'm Blocked, unfollowed. I'm from Minnesota, so I don't confront people ever. Ah. So I have people that I hate around me all oh, the time. Okay, we're right here. No, kids, come on. There's people in the whole world. Literally, we're just here in the basement. I would do Tell anything for you guys. Mind. Dad? Anything. Oh. <laughs> I got to go. Should I go back down? Okay. Go back downstairs. Oh. Oh. Oh, whatever this muscle's called. Yeah. Whatever, it's called. whatever it hurts. <laughs> Great, Sam, I'm gonna use that advice. I think um, we actually helped her. Yeah, I, yeah. Great job, let's do some Twitter questions. <laughs> we tweeted out asking my followers for questions for you. So whatever they're about to ask is totally on them. Uh, this is from at Rustic Colleen. Uh, Love her. Uh, Debbie Ryan, describe your experience on the Disney Channel in three words. <laughs> Educational. <laughs> um, hilarious. <laughs> What do you describe? Um, I did a lot of like stunts and I ended up with like dangerous, like being like upside down in wires and like a tarantula costume and like climbing up elevator shafts. And they're like, no, 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 it's Debbie. Like, sure, she got it. She's like, she's like, no, 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 put her in six inch platform. She'll do it. And it's like, you know. And uh, so if I wasn't scrappy before, it like made me scrappy. So yeah. scrappy. Character scrappy. building. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I think that like. Solid words. Yeah. They're good at like seeing something that you like and want to do and then like helping you get that. Yeah. So like a lot of people are like music or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But for me it was like business and yeah. post production and stuff and they were really accommodating. So I feel like That's really cool. Yeah. Um uh, my own question off that question, how would you describe your experience on this show in three words? Oh, I like this one. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. That makes like a lot of sense to me. We, we keep getting that response. <laughs> People keep saying Character that. building. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is at Mercy Russet. What's your favorite thing about Andrea? Mm. And what's your favorite thing about Rachel? There she is. Booyah. Booyah. I saw that coming as well. You did? I saw it. I knew there was going to be one in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like that you don't limit yourself. I like that you're like, this is a thing that I'm passionate about and care about. This is a thing that I have a voice on. And I'm going to like make it out there and also not be like pretentious about it. You're just very, you're, a you're very in touch with your autonomy, <laughs> which I like about you a lot. And just like freaking adorable. Um, you are, I just met you. And? I'm so thankful for this Shirley Temple. Oh, I will take that and run. Um, you, you're like, you make people very, feel very welcome in a way that's like Aww. very not disingenuous. I feel like a lot of people are like, hey, 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 hey. You're just like, I'm gonna make fun of you and then you'll be okay with it. <laughs> That's, I have that actually tattooed, right? Yeah. Uh, gonna, I'm gonna yeah. make fun of you and you're gonna be okay with Rachel, it. Rachel, as she was telling you that, your eyes were just twinkling. Oh. I know. You're like, see? I feel as though it's easy for, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I could, I could go on about this, but I, I like the dynamic a lot. I like how responsive you are without like sacrificing your own kind of intellectual contributions and things. Like you're, you don't like, you're not like doing bits. You're like actively like engaging. I don't know, maybe that's like- You need her around This is the best. <laughs> this is the best. This is the best. A lot of compliments. Yes, that does kind of help slide the slide. <laughs> Sorry, she's making well, me happy and you also, say, you also say things that aren't phrases. Right. Like, slide, <laughs> slide the slide. Write yeah. that one down She too. just gets me. Okay, <laughs> perfect. We'll do, this is a good one, uh, at- Also you have Taylor Swift hair, sorry. No, I don't. She has a blonde. Okay. Taylor Swift has Rachel hair. Yeah. Taylor Swift might have Rachel hair, but you know like, teardrops on my guitar, like, hey Steve, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. like, these things will change. Can you feel it now, Taylor? <laughs> sure. Like, That's you. She's like, every song up the album. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know I'm it. like, you're not sorry. <laughs> oh, White Horse? Oh, White Horse. Yeah. Piano version, of course. True, true, true. What, wait, wait, just to clarify, you gave me a compliment? Multi several. Mm. Yes. Get him, get him. The best part is, this is all being recorded. People are gonna have to see this. <laughs> this really happened. This is out. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just. It was uh, all going too well. Pads, I, huh? I, I, yeah. I need elbow pads and some An type elevator. of harness to. Yeah. This, <laughs> this is. Uh, Wouldn't it be tight if you were doing what you were doing, but just two inches off the ground? <laughs> <laughs> just like no floating my arm. No one can tell. No, yeah. I just wanted to be like... You're those hoverboards. Yeah, yeah. Just all of your movements, like, a little bit more loose. <laughs> like, what's she doing? Hannah drinks yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah. She's, like, shaking a little bit. <laughs> we need this. We need to make this... I have a hoverboard. That's Rachel. She's in zero gravity. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a 
ending. Like, what more? You know. <laughs> it's her because thing. one time someone was like, wouldn't it be cool if she was into yoga? <laughs> yeah. We just and start taking went, every <laughs> suggestion and we're like, I'm doing that. We yeah, have a lot of that. t-shirts from this episode that you can make. And True. a big budget for some type of harnesses and zero gravity gear. We'll take that out of the elbow pads budget, because then your elbows will be far enough off. The <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> We're solving so many problems all at once. Yeah, this is perfect. Yeah. Can you come every week? Yeah, here I am to, to not answer the answering question and help you guys. Yeah, that's it. Forget no, the rest of all of this. I don't think we've ever actually answered any of the questions from the answering machine in a serious matter. I <laughs> just got a new therapist. So I, that's... <laughs> I need a therapist. Yeah. yeah. Please oh, recommend. You should meet Dr. Cheryl. Dr. Cheryl? <laughs> yeah, she's the best. She sounds good. I was good. To her yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were just like, hey, uh, good to meet you. And then we just like cry, cry, cry. I cry. literally like, was like, if I went, well, I, I would guess walk we're in. doing this. Cry. I would cry instantly. <laughs> yeah. I'd walk in and be like, hey. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Is I, I was like, okay, I'm gonna be, it's like an intro, like yeah. I'm gonna like be on it. And I like went in and I was like, okay, I've gotta be completely honest. Yeah. And she was like, how are things? And I was like, mm. <laughs> she was like, and I was like, no, no, no it's, it's fine. I'm good. And then I was like, <laughs> and then I just went. <laughs> and then like 55 minutes later, she was like, yeah, mm -hmm. we're gonna finish up soon. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're like, no, 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 but also? I was like, that's actually not okay. Can I call you later? <laughs> <laughs> so attached so quickly. I, I legitimately, my last thought before bed last night was like, oh, I wish I could text Dr. Cheryl and tell her how things went. And then I, I was like, that's amazing. I need a Dr. We Cheryl. Have friends. <laughs> that's so sweet that you've like found somebody that you can like really connect with that you kind of have to pay, but like doesn't yeah, matter. Kind of like, kind of like, that's exactly like you and me mm -hmm. because they are paying us to be around <laughs> each other. <laughs> to care. Yeah. Paid to care. Oh my God. Yes. Okay, this will be our last one. Okay. Uh, it's from Aunt Ardrex. Rose. I love that you, that you always say uh, the at name. Yeah, at. Every time. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. It's, it's just, just it's just funny. What am I supposed to say? Bridget? Bridge? I mean, you could. With a star emoji? I was so much a douche either way. Hey, at bridge with a star emoji. <laughs> Perfect. So, both of your first kiss stories. Ooh. My dad. I was in eighth grade. <laughs> and, yeah, okay, I heard the laughing. Um, it was this guy that I met at a baseball game. And I was like, you should come to my friend's house and hang out. It was my friend that was like allowed to have boys over. So we went over to their house and he kissed me. And then after I found out he was four years older than me and had a girlfriend. Oh no. Yeah. <gasps> you got You were in eighth grade being kissed by a boy who was four years older than you? He might as well have been 40. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, literally. I walked away and I was like, yeah, you ruined me Aww. forever. That's my first kiss story. How shitty. That's, it's horrible. really shitty because it's not fair to either of you. Mm -hmm. Like, there she is thinking that her boyfriend's not walking around kissing eighth graders. Right? An eighth grader. An eighth grader. That's a senior. That's wrong. All types are wrong. Um, Go ahead. And this is boy. Yeah. Just, and, yeah. <laughs> I was nervous. <laughs> I don't know. Was he 40 or was he your, like, the <laughs> appropriate age? He was inappropriate age for me. Yeah. yeah, it was like seventh or eighth grade. It was that guy who was like, my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was like three weeks in to like, like distant hand holding. Yep. And then, you know, the shoulders close a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then like a week later, it's like the cheek kiss. And it's yeah. like, you can't breathe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's just like, you like go from like church hug to like full frontal and Ooh. you're like, Ooh, slow it's down. happening so fast. Stop yeah. it. Yeah, it was all a lot for me. He kissed me on the mouth and then later Wawa. it was like Christmas time and I kissed him on the mouth a few weeks later or something. It's a lot of time between them. Like, and then, next thing I know, it was the next Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and we've been dating ever since. <laughs> I was in love if that was the ending. And now we're married. Yeah. And we just made out for the first time last week. I think it's going well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nice and slow. <laughs> wow. Love does exist. Yeah. <laughs> What's your first kiss story? His name was Matt. Okay. I was in the closet young. I didn't know. I assumed everyone's straight. How hard could it be? You know what sure. I mean? Turns out hard, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. we were younger. Yeah. And then uh, I got, you know how to play the game Zap? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so funny. I haven't, yeah. I haven't thought about it in forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But what yeah. is Zap? Zap is you, your, your friends write a time, right? Yeah. On your, and then on the inside, somebody's name. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the name before the time, you have to like kiss them or ask them out. So I got zapped. 
awful. Oh no, that's how you get things happening in wow. elementary school. I went, to wrong, I went to like a private Catholic. I was in uniforms. We didn't play no zap games. Oh, Damn. we played zap. You go to the bathroom, check the name. If it's good, you go back and make sure everyone can see you checking it. So that you have to, you know, yeah. you see. Yeah, I know about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got zap Matt, and then we smooched. And he was wearing a lot of chapstick, and then I ran home. <laughs> and I haven't kissed ran. a boy since, you guys. Yeah, you do. No, I have. Just like a few, but I wasn't it be cool. I wish I could say. But that was it. It was uh, not glamorous. Yeah, I feel like uh, something that both, both, at least both of our stories have in common is that they were just like gloriously unspectacular. Yeah. Like the biggest <laughs> deal until all of a sudden it was just like, mm. Like that was it. Yeah, yeah. And like there's something I think about like not letting the specialness go and still being like, yeah, there's, last year I was, there's like, you know, there's always like one person, like everyone just has like that one person. Yes. And it's like, we like, were dating for several years and like had kissed throughout that relationship. Mm -hmm. And then like saw each other, reconnected, he kissed me. And it was like, I had never been kissed by a person before ever in my entire life. And I had like, seen different people yeah. in my life and was just like, okay, cool. No, I feel but, like that, that magic felt like the first time. Yeah, it felt like how the first time should have felt if yes. it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Ben. Fuck <laughs> 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 you, Ben. Oh! Ben. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. Did we call people out a lot? I, 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 I called somebody out on an episode, <gasps> thinking they'd never see it. It was like, who's your worst hookup? I said the name. He texted me. No. He was like, cool. Saw that. No. I have not replied yet. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. <laughs> We're just here to like break hearts. I'm so sorry, Ben. <laughs> like to retract oh what I God. said. Okay. Do we go to shit gets real? Oh my God. I almost forgot that that was happening. <laughs> okay. What we're going to do is that we have different cutouts of red carpet looks and your face. And Andrea is going to have to choose which one is your actual look. Bye, I'm behind the whiteboard, but I'm not gone. I am those still are, here. Those are cute outfits, shit. Oh, okay. All, all right. right. Wait, so there's only, like, they're not all you. They're so, not all. Okay. No, and so there's... I'm looking now and seeing, yeah, there's like a few that are me and a few that are not. Correct, so we're, okay. she's, Andrea's gonna put the heads on the ones which she thinks are you. We're gonna have a minute to do it. Yeah, 30 oh, 30, 30 seconds, come on. Wait, can I, wait, can I just can think I about this for a minute? Or... All right, nice. 30 seconds, ready, okay, okay, three. Okay, okay. Two, one, go! Oh, fuck. I that one. Oh, that's so big. Am I, am I allowed to comment as she's doing it or no? Sure. No? <laughs> okay, that, yeah. That dress is very nice. <laughs> You're like, I would never fucking wear that. Um, <laughs> careful, you are halfway. <gasps> I'm not <Wait>. kidding. <laughs> you think she There's wore the bit white? of white right here. Oh, uh, fuck. I think. He would wear time. <laughs> okay, that is time. Can I, can I say something? Oh God, yeah. Did I nail it? Every single one of those is right. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 Are you serious? This is Kids' Choice Awards. This was uh, Elton John's free Oscar party, maybe. Couldn't tell you, but those are Michael Kors. I keep falling <laughs> out of them, but I still continue to wear them. Um, Colette Dinnigan. This was one of the first looks I did with my stylist, and it was amazing. It's cute. These like Giuseppe's maybe, and this, this, and then this was like this old vintage jumpsuit that I had got, and I wore to the premiere of this movie that I produced. And this is like a dress that Selena wore to this event that I thought was so beautiful. So I saw that, and if you put my face on her, I would have been like, oh, I do look cute in that. <laughs> <laughs> you got them all right. Oh, you do look cute in that. Wow, I am very impressed with myself. Because yes. I was so yeah. And you, and you did your game well. I did my game well. I did. You're just doing everything well. <laughs> We're kind of crushing today. Today's been a good day. Oh, yeah, I did a fun fact. Up. This one here on the very end, that's actually me. I knew it. I knew it. I recognized yeah. you. Yeah. That's I was like, so something good. about that is I really normally so don't good. reveal that much cleavage on this show. Contractually, I can't. But in general, <laughs> yeah. that's normally what I look like. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I recognized it actually just from the cleavage. Thank you. I had never seen you in the outfit, but I was like, oh, that's for sure Rachel. That's Rachel. That's, yeah, yeah, that's Rachel's yeah. right there. Yeah. Um, just seeing the bodies, I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> oh okay. I just, there's always a moment where you're like, all right, what am I pointing to? <laughs> I'm like, oh, that. Yeah. She wants people to see her. Yes. <laughs> Here's the thing, we were gonna have this amazing, for each one that you got wrong, we were gonna dress you in a little bit of drag. Yeah, oh, drag king. so cute.
Can we just do I a little bit here? Still have the crown I was so yeah. excited. Let's do it. Let's put you in. You yes. still have your crown on, right? I guess we all need velvet. That's why. Wait, then you wear this. Yeah, wear well, the okay, you want, I know you want me to wear it. I know I want you, you to wear, wear it. You want to wear this crown? No, you, everyone stay. Okay. I'm gonna take the picture. Do you want me to wear that? I'm like, yeah, fuck this jacket. Fuck this jacket. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There. Oh, yeah. How do I look? Oh, great. Yeah. Wow. You know, this is a. Okay, you guys, look how cute. One, two, three. And on that note of me nailing it, nailing it, that is the end of Apologies in Advance. Debbie, thank you so much for coming on. I'm so happy. Guys, thanks for letting me be the first girl. Of course. I'm so happy. I'm, just, uh, I'm gonna march back into the basement soon and we'll just play more games. Yes, and just like kick it. Hell also, yeah. we no more men allowed in the basement. Yeah. No boys, no, no boys allowed. No boys allowed. No boys allowed. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Awesome. Well, yes. if anybody wants to find you on social media, where can they find you? So it's just at D E B B Y Ryan on like Twitter and Instagram. I'm on Snapchat under Hey There Debbie. Hey There Debbie. Hey there, That's Deb. a good Snapchat name. Mine hey there, is And Wizzle, so I'm screwed. Um, <laughs> that feels like someone's first aim name. Yup. You yeah. want to know my YouTube username? Please. Ghetto X Fab X Forever. Same. <laughs> and it's so ghetto that I forgot the H in ghetto. Oh, God. no. I was young. I was bad. I was young. So it kind of just looks like get to. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's not good. Huh. It's not good. Rachel, where can anyone find you? Rachel At Safety. Rachel Safety. I knew it. You, I wanted to say it at the same Same. At Rachel, Rachel Safety. Safety. Wow. This is a really good day. This is a big bummer. I gotta go. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you download the full screen app and watch more and more episodes. We'll see you guys next time.